Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. So this is part two video of the series Nest.js and Angular CRUD operation. So in this demo, we are going to create Angular application. So Angular application built on components. Okay, components comprise of three files like component ts file component html file and component styles file okay so these three files combinedly make a angular component okay and the, in these three files uh, the communication between component ts file and html file ha has supports two way binding means data flow in bidirection means html to ts file and ts file to html data can be transferred in a component okay and events also can be listened from html to component okay so this is how a simple angular component flow looks like okay now let's create our angular 14 application okay before creating angular application our local machine required node.js okay since node.js is already installed while we creating the nest.js application right so that job is finished next thing we have to install the angular cli into our local machine okay so this is the command npm install iphone g iphone g represents global level Space at the rate angular cli okay just copy this command and open the terminal wherever it is fine and just run the command then after a few seconds angular cli is installed into your local machine so with this cli commands we can very easily create angular related project and internal file structures etc okay so please install the cli next we already created nest.js right so in the same folder we try to create our angular application as well okay open command prompt okay and command to ng command for creating the angular application like ng space new and name of your project okay i will name it like nest 9 and 14 ui project okay so here it will ask few configurations from us so would you like to add angular routing let's say yes by entering y yes we will use angular routing and here it is asking to choose type of css file that should contain in our project you can use css sas less and normal css okay i will use normal css okay and now it's going to try to create the angular application by installing all the required packages to support our application so angular project successfully created let's go to the root folder of our angular project okay and now we are going to use visual studio code editor as our working editor okay now to open visual studio code editor directly in our root folder enter command like code space dot and enter okay this is our project so let's explore the existing files that are created on creating our application okay first thing is package.json file so package.json file contains like scripts dependencies and dev dependencies so scripts contains commands to run build test our angular application okay dependencies means direct libraries that are required for our application to run okay and dev dependencies means those are also libraries but we required only at the time of development okay so you can see the angular version at the rate angular any library 
contains the version that is 14, which is the latest Angular version. Okay, this is the package.json file. And next, you can see angular.json file. So this contains all Angular related configurations like build, build and output directory. Everything will be configured here. Next, go to src folder. And here is the index.cshtml. So Angular is a single page application, right? It will contain one and only one HTML page. So this is the page going to render when the user request our Angular application. Okay. Remaining all routing related pages are dynamically painted on the page based on the JavaScript. Okay. Once the JavaScript all code is downloaded for the first request, if you navigate on the Angular page, it won't go to server. Okay. It will handle the request within the JavaScript and replaces the content based on the routing values. Okay. And in this uh, index.html, you can see a tag, custom tag, that app.root. So this is the Angular rendering uh, HTML element. Okay. And inside of this element, all the content gets rendered. Okay, so this is about index.html and Angular contains our main.ts file. Okay, so this is the entry file for bootstrapping or bundling our Angular module. So if you observe here, app module is our entry module. So this main.ts try to load the app module. Okay, so if you go to app folder, you can find the app module. So this is the parent of every module in our application okay and this is the default component like app.component.html app.component.ts and app.component.css so you find three files right these two files come these three files comprise of app component okay so this is the default component we will get when we create our angular application and here you can see one more file that is app routing so this, this is the file where we can configure the routing and this reference is added to the app module itself. Okay. So now let's run our application and check how it looks. Okay. Open terminal. Now command is like ng serve. So ng serve will internally starts the local host and runs our angular application within that local host so our angular application runs at port number 4200 so application build is successfully open and here you can see some console angular development server is listening at local host port number open http localhost 4200 in the browser okay copy this and try to navigate in our browser see you can see a nice ui angular application this is the default ui provided when we create the angular application okay so this is how our angular application looks at initially now what i will do for my styling purpose to complete our demo I am going to use the bootstrap into my angular application. Okay, so to install the bootstrap. Let's go to bootstrap official website. Okay, and if you scroll down here, you can see the npm package way of installing the bootstrap. So let's copy the first one. Okay, and open one more terminal and paste the bootstrap command here and try to install it okay package is installed successfully to confirm it we can go to package.json file and you can see as a new entry bootstrap references added in the dependencies okay that shows packages successfully installed into our application next after installing the bootstrap we need configuration for bootstrap CSS and JS files in the angular.json file. Okay, so go to angular.json file 
and here you can see styles array right in this styles array let's load the bootstrap css file that is installed inside of the node modules folder okay so node underscore modules okay nothing but i am trying to get the reference from this folder okay node modules bootstrap list css min dot css okay similarly i need to add the uh, js reference as well okay so node modules bootstrap list js min dot js okay so now with js files we are configured successfully so after changing this angular json file we have to restart our application to show or to feel the effects of the bootstrap so click on control c to stop the local server okay again run ng sir okay meanwhile it is running what we can do here is the default html page of our angular application right here i want to remove this entire default html code and now i want to add the bootstrap menu here okay for that let's go to app component.html okay so this is the html default html that is showing on our application okay let's remove this entire okay entire html okay up to here delete it and here you can see one element custom element which is nothing but a angular component element router element so this is the element okay where routing based content will be rendered inside of it okay so app component html will be the shared file so any page content will be rendered inside of the router outlet so it is good to add our menu at the top of this router outlet so that menu will be shared to all pages of our angular application okay to add menu go to bootstrap website and go to docs and here we can check for the nav bar so here is the nav bar okay and let me copy this okay nav bar like this nav bar but currently i don't want any of those menu items so let's try to remove them all one by one okay this is also i don't want okay here is the heading navbar brand class represents the like a menu or a logo or the heading of our application so in this demo i am going to do a simple crud operation on super villains adding deleting editing updating okay so i will name it like superheroes okay superheroes application my application is okay now i want here you can see this is a white background menu right i want dark background menu for that we have to change the theme colors of the menu i want a black color so just copy this navbar dark and pg dark okay and here remove the bg light and paste our css class okay now it's going to render the black color it's going to render the black color navbar okay so since our application is already running right let's try whether these changes are affected in our application or not see here my bootstrap menu is successfully added with superheroes as my heading and black navbar as my menu bar okay next we are going to deal with creating the mongodb and try to connect the mongodb into our nestjs application okay thank you so much guys watching for this video i hope this video delivered some useful content to you all if you like the content and please do support me by subscribing to my channel soon we are going to meet with new content until then signing off